Hey there, I want to show you how to make a Google sign-in with Expo using Create React Native App. Here you can find the docs from Expo, which I think is pretty great and I'm actually just going to follow along. What I've created here is just a simple application and when I press the button, I want to log in and I want to display the name of the person logged in and the profile picture, like here of Jon Snow. However, my app right now is only hard-coded with one user named Jon Snow and his a profile picture and I might and I think that a better login system would be when you actually use Google sign in and you get the user's name and the user's profile picture so that's what we're gonna fix today so to start with we have to go uh, get some credentials on the Google page Expo wants to automate uh, automate this but Google don't have an API for it so you actually have to do it manually so let's open that up and when we get here what we do is that we create a completely new project and you have to sign in with your Google account if you don't already have that. Let's call it my project 41010, that's a great name. After that we click credentials and what we want is an authentic authentication client ID. Uh, oh and what we first have to do is give it a name, Google sign in tutorial. Let's save that. And it complains. Let's give it a different name. And let's pick Android. You can also pick iOS and then you need some slightly different keys. Name Android Client 1, that's an awesome name. Uh, we, we then need a signing certificate fingerprint. And I think the easiest way to do that is opening the console. And I'm actually gonna type in what they suggest here from the expo, which is OpenSSL. Make sure you have OpenSSL installed. If not, you should install that. Shift insert gives me a key. What I do is I will just copy that key, put it here. And for the package name, you actually use host.expo.exponent. You create. What you have here is your ID. You copy that because you're gonna need it in our code. And that's all we need. So now let's go to the code and start implementing some stuff. So what I have written here now is I have a state and where, uh, where I have one boolean which tells you if you signed in or not, the name and the photo URL which we'll, we'll set to a value as soon as we get it from Google. And what, what, I, do, what I have here in my render function is actually if you are, you are long dead that the state signed in is true you render the login page if not you render the i mean <laughs> you render the logged in page if not you render the login page which is what you see now the button yeah press that i will set the sign in to true and we'll log the logged in page page which take a props which should be the name and the url which i set on actually on click uh, this code is all up on GitHub for you to check out if you want to know more, but this is really simple. So what I want to do is change my sign in, because right now we will just set it to true and the name Jon Snow and the uh, photo URL to a picture of Jon Snow that I found on the internet. It's pretty easy to find pictures of Jon Snow on the internet. So Expo gives you a good code snippet here. So if you're going to steal some code snippet from Expo, what you have to do is you want to import Expo. Actually, what I want to do as well is to import. And we actually want to take this whole asynchronous function or the code in it. We will just comment this out. If the user cancel the the login process, it will actually go into this else statement. So you can just console out cancel. We don't want it to return anything. So we will just console log, log error and the error. And <laughs> this should of course be console log. Here's where we get the result if the login is successful. So there's actually what we should do all the magic while, when we get logged in. Actually, I'm getting ahead of myself. So what we actually want to do now is to give Google our Android client key or iOS client key that we created earlier in the Google Dev website. If you wanted to support both Android and iOS, you just send in both here and then you have to create two keys on the Android 
uh, web uh, on the Google website. I only created the Android key. And you just send it in here as a string. Uh, mine is super secret, so I'm actually I have it in my super secret file, and I just import it. That should work like that. And what we want to do after that is we want to, of course, get the result, and we can get the name from the result, and we can get the photo URL. So result. Use yes. Console log out result, and you will see all the things it will give you, like uh, ID tokens and refresh tokens, and uh, well, the in user information. Uh, I'm only interested in the name and the photo URL, if I remember it correctly. And uh, the u the name and the photo URL is later used here. As I send them in as props into the login page, and then I say welcome my name. The name of the person that logs in, and source. And since this is a website URL, you have to put the source as a URI. And this should actually work. And if I press the sign in button now, it will actually redirect me to a browser login, and it doesn't. Hmm. Okay, so what, will I so what will happen now when I press the button is that it will actually redirect me to a browser where I can log in. And uh, this is because uh, Expo doesn't support where you can actually log in with Google directly in the app. And that is because you need a standalone app for that uh, or you need to eject your Expo app for that. But this works perfectly fine. The browser will remember, uh, will know what you logged in as and it will remember your information and you will get all the information you need. So if I press now on my uh, on login here, you see it will redirect to the login page where it actually got my name and it got my profile picture from my Google Plus account. And this is actually all you need to create an, a simple login page. Uh, I will put the Expo's own tutorial or guide in the um, description and I also, also put a link to GitHub where you can look at all this code. And if you like this video, give it a like and if you want to see more like this, uh, you should subscribe to this channel.